morning students welcome to second year zoology classes you got many classes of many subjects even you got zoology classes from the victor's channel i am repeating the same classes with the some notes so carefully listen me you know our first topic or chapter is human reproduction actually this is a part of the first year classes that is the human physiology and in the last portion of that we are discussing in the second year you know human beings are sexually reproducing and they are viviparous that is in human beings males and females are separate individuals and they are giving birth to young ones okay and reproductive process is a broad process it has many subdivisions many events thus first day we are discussing the, the different events in human reproduction that is reproductive events the first reproductive event is gametogenesis this is the formation of gametes that is sperms in males and ova in females so gametogenesis can be divisible into formation of sperms spermatogenesis spermatogenesis and formation of ova in females or in ovary known as oogenesis that is human beings male and female are different individuals adond male and female separate aitan sex cells develop cheyyu males sex cells develop cheyyunathu testis ilana adinana spermatogenesis nu parayam females il ovary ilana ovum develop cheyya adinana oogenesis ennu parayam then the second process is insemination insemination that is sperms are produced in males in the testes and it is coming out along with the liquid and that liquid is called semen that semen is transferred into the body of female and this transfer of sperm containing semen into the genital tract of female is called insemination sperms are developed in the male in the testes la male in the testes il ninnu adu female la body like transfer cheyyu angane male il ninnu female like sperms transfer cheyyudathinaan insemination ennu varu okay then third fertilization fertilization is the fusion of sperm and ova sperms are transferred into the body of female through the genital tract of the female that the sperms are moving towards the ova it will reach the vicinity of ova and then it will fuse with the ovum that the fusion of sperm with ova is called fertilization 
ഇൻസെമിനേഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സ്പേംസ് ഓവത്തിന്റെ അടുത്തേക്ക് മൂവ് ചെയ്തു അങ്ങനെ ഓവത്തിന്റെ അടുത്ത് എത്തിയാൽ കുറച്ച് സമയമെടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് സ്പേമിന്റെ ഹെഡ് ഓവത്തിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ കയറി രണ്ട് ന്യൂക്ലിയസും തമ്മിൽ ഫ്യൂഷൻ നടന്ന് സൈഗോട്ട് ഉണ്ടാവും ഇതിനാണ് ഫർട്ടിലൈസേഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഫോർത്ത് പ്രോസസ് ഈസ് ക്ലീവേജ് ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ്ലി ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് സൈഗോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് മൈറ്റോട്ടിക് ഡിവിഷൻ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ മൈറ്റോസിസ് this mitotic division of zygote to form a ball like structure the blastocyst is called cleavage zygote form cheyidal udane adu mitosis mugena divide cheyan thodu anganeyulla daughter cells nanu blastomeres nu parayya അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോമിയേഴ്സിന്റെ ഒരു കൂട്ടത്തിനാണ് ഒരു ബോളിനാണ് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോസിസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് അങ്ങനെ സൈഗോട്ട് ഡിവൈഡ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ട് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോസിസ്റ്റ് ആയി മാറുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സിനാണ് ക്ലീവേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സോ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് ബ്ലാസ്റ്റോസിസ്റ്റ് it is moving through the oviduct towards the uterus and finally it will attach in the uterine wall and this attachment of blastocyst in the uterine wall is called implantation and this leads into pregnancy that pregnancy period is the sixth process of sixth event and it is called gestation what is the name gestation and simply it is called pregnancy that is after implantation that blastocyst is dividing continuously and transform into a fetus or a baby and this is called gestation and after the gestation what happened the baby is fully developed what happened yes the delivery occurs and that the seventh process is parturition parturition simply we can say delivery kuny complete development aayi kaniyal adu garbhapatrathil ninnu porathekku release cheyum idinana parturition ennu pariya delivery in the term ningal okke ariyana so these are the seven events in the reproductive process that is gametogenesis embryonic spermatogenesis and oogenesis then insemination fertilization cleavage implantation gestation and parturition this may be asked for the examination as a flow chart so you have to know these events in the order ഇതൊരു പക്ഷെ ഓർഡർ ആയിട്ട് ചിലപ്പോ പരീക്ഷക്ക് അറേഞ്ച് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഇത് ഓർഡർ ആയിട്ട് തന്നെ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കണം ഓക്കെ ഡിസ്കസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് സെവൻ ഇവന്റ്സ് ഇൻ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ സോ ഗാഡിസ് ആർ ഡെവലപ്ഡ് in the sex organs so before gametogenesis we have to know an idea about the reproductive system in both male and female so that is our next topic first in the male reproductive system male reproductive system this male reproductive system and female reproductive system is very easy and you have already very clearly observed the diagrams in the videos etc so 
we can just uh, run through this. The male reproductive system is divided into four. First, primary sex organs. Primary sex organs. Primary sex organs are the organs which produce sex sense organics and also the sex hormones. Thus, the primary sex organs in human beings are one pair of testes, two testes. Testes are developed inside the abdominal cavity. But before the birth, it is coming out from the abdominal cavity and placed in a skin pouch present outside the abdominal cavity or in the pelvic region and that skin pouch in which testes are situated are called scrotum. Scrotum. Sperms are placed, testes are placed in the scrotum for getting a temperature less than that of the body temperature. That is, the temperature inside the scrotum is 2 to 2.5 degrees centigrade less than the body temperature. And this temperature is essential for the working of testes. But testes develop in the abdominal cavity and the abdominal cavity is a skin pouch. Scrotum is a skin pouch. If you have a skin pouch, you can see the temperature of the temperature of the temperature of the temperature of the body temperature. This is the temperature of the testes. That is the scrotum. That is the scrotum. That is the Okay? For a comparison. Then, each testes consists of many compartments, and that compartments are called testicular lobules. There are about 250 testicular lobules. Testis possess many compartments. That compartments are testicular lobules, about there are 250. And if each testicular lobule possess one, two, three seminiferous tubules. Oro testicular lobulum, one of the other seminiferous tubules are now. Seminiferous tubules are highly coiled tubules. That's why we are going to talk about tubules. And these tubules are the structural and functional unit of testes. Because the testes are formed of seminiferous tubules or consists of seminiferous tubules and the function of testes is done by seminiferous tubules. And for that, seminiferous tubules possess two types of cells. The inner lining of seminiferous tubule possess a cell known as male germ cells. Male germ cells. Or this is also called spermatogonia. What is the second name? Spermatogonia. Remember this. Spermatogonia are the cells present in the inner lining of seminiferous tubules. These spermatogonia transform into sperms. These spermatogonia undergo 
Firstly, mitosis, then meiosis, and finally transform into spores. But testis in our seminiferous tubule, a seminiferous tubule in there, Ulbaga the line chain the wall in a theater central on a male job cells and the use of metroponia over in the central is in the garden. Mitosis, meiosis, mugena, spoon, and the marble. Then the second cell is called Sartori cells. The center is Sartori cells. Sartori cells are the cells which support the developing sperms. They give or supply food to developing sperms and so their function is nourishment. And by doing so, the sperms get shape also. So this is the function of Sartori cells that is nourishment. And also the formation of this shape of spores. Then, so these are the two cells inside the seminiferous tubule. This is very important. You have to know the fate or the function of these two. Then, outside the seminiferous tubules, there are spaces. That spaces are called interstitial spaces. And then interstitial spaces, the spaces between the seminiferous tubules versus cells. And the first cell present outside it is called interstitial cells or leading cells. Interstitial cells or leading cells. You have studied this in the endocrine system. The last chapter of first year college, and these leading cells produce which hormone? Yes, the male sex hormone or androgens. Male sex hormones or androgens. Thus, the third cells are the leading cells producing the androgen, and again. Outside or in the interstitial space, there are a second type of cells called the immunologically competent cells. The cells which produce the immunity or immunologically competent cells. So this is about the testes. But testes na kuchhi prey karigal na karigal na. Yento vanda na testes. Scrot at the place to the area, other boy, testis in the old day old, seminiferous tubule, a seminiferous tubule old day old, and the other center, other boy, other the poor tula, leading cell, e moon and the name function so, are in here. Okay, this is the primary sex organ of male. Then the second part. Of the male reproductive system is accessory dex. Accessory means additional. So second is accessory dex. Accessory dex. Additional dex. These are the tubes for the transportation of sperm. Developed in the seminiferous tubule to out. They also store the sperms. And this accessory index include very short tubes called Ritte testis. Ritte testis. These are very minute or very short tubes present at the end of the seminiferous tubules for collecting the sperms. Seminiferous tubules in the old level develop jayda sperm gada collect jayyan ula seminiferous tubule in the actor tulla chariya tube in aana rite testis in the way. Tube no alimile chariya space no adhina baani. Then second is 
Kuasa di Valencia. Kuasa di Valencia. These are again small, very fine tribules emerging from each rigged space for collecting and transporting the sperms. Rigged space in the sperm will be secured to the birthday of the world. Cherie the Ubugal Khan Vasa Inferentia in the world. Then all these Vasa Inferentia join together and open into a common duct outside the testes and it is called a PTTVs. So the third is a PTTVs. This is present on the ventral side of testes or outside the testes and it collects the all sperms coming through the vasa inferentia to outside the testes. Inside this epidermis, sperms are temporarily stored and during that time they will get motility power or the moving power. So this is epidermis. Then this is also wide but short. Then this epidermis then lives into a very narrow tube and it is called vas deferens. Was D E F E R E N S was a difference. This is a narrow tube arising from the scrotum, leave the scrotum and enter into the abdominal cavity, then move up to the top of the urinary bladder and then bend again downwards. Okay? Well, epidermis scrotum the dole. And now it has just the porta. Adil in the sperm got a collective jay the world over me. Adim abdominal cavity would hang in a mellow to him. In the urinary bladder, the mobility very too. Adin a session would do. But at the time, a tubina and a little tubina was a difference in the world. This was a difference then joined with a tube coming from the seminal vesicles and become a joined in that. Or tubule known as the ejaculatory duct. Ejaculatory duct. So, was the difference leads into ejaculatory duct. This ejaculatory duct then open into urethra. You have studied what is urethra. Urethra is the tube through which or why through which the urine is passing out. So, through the same urethra, the sperms are also moving out. Thus, urethra is a common tract for the passage of both urine and semen or sperms. Then, this urethra open out, and the opening of urethra is called urethral. Meters. Urethra is opening in an urethral meters to where it is present at the tip of penis. So these are the accessory text, rigged testes, vasa inferentia, epidermis, vasa difference, ejaculatory text, and urethra. Through this, sperms are transported and in some places they are temporarily stored. Okay? We do not have a flow chart at the bottom. Testes in the elegant semi-forous tubule in the for a take sperms over in the tube of water in the body. Okay? Yes. Then the third is Accessory glands. Accessory glands. There are some glands for the production of certain secretions which are essential for the movement of the sperms leading to fertilization. 
and these secretions are produced some glands and they are called accessory glands and in human beings female in males there are three accessory glands one a pair of seminal vesicles a pair of seminal vesicles present on the two side of the urinary bladder and they are producing a secretion then second is a single prostate prostate is only one and this is present just below the urinary bladder and third is again a pair or two bulbo urethral glands present below the prostate so the three accessory male glands are reproductive glands or seminal vesicles prostate and bulbo urethral gland among these prostate is single then the secretion of these three is collectively called seminal plasma ee moonanathinteyum secretion varina peyaanu seminal plasma moonum separate aayittu secretions produce cheyum moonanu kuda collective aayi namaku seminal plasma endu parayam okay this seminal plasma contain fructose what is fructose a simple sugar and it is providing energy for the women of the sperm and secondly it possesses calcium calcium is essential for the women and so for the women of sperm calcium is also needed and that is also present in the seminal plasma and it also possesses many enzymes many enzymes this seminal plasma possesses fructose calcium and many enzymes when seminal plasma contain sperm then it is called semen thus seminal plasma plus sperm is equal to semen so semen minus sperm seminal plasma so this is about the accessory or additional glands then fourth is external genitalia external genitalia the visible part of reproductive system is generally called external genitalia porthege kaanan pattuna partukal kaanu external genitalia nu parayam the external genitalia in human male is only one organ and it is the penis penis is the copulatory organ the organ which help in semination or for transferring the semen into the body of the female that is penis and it is formed of a special tissue and that tissue is a special erectile spongy tissue it is formed of a special erectile spongy tissue when this spongy tissue is filled with the blood then it becomes stiff and this facilitate the insemination okay which easily make the transfer of semen into the body of the female and so it is formed of erectile spongy tissue and the free end of this penis is 
conical in shape that cone shaped slightly extended or enlarged part is called glans penis g l a n s glans penis and this glans penis is covered by a loose skin and it is called foreskin before it foreskin or prepose So this is about the external genitalia. This is a single organ that is penis, which is helping the insemination. And for that, it is formed of special erectile spongy tissue. And the end of that one is conical in shape, and it is slightly extended. That part is called glans, G L A N S, glans penis, and is covered by a loose skin called. For skin or purpose. Okay, so this is the male reproductive system. So along with this, I am giving you a PDF of notes. You read that notes two or three times. Then after that, write down it into a separate clear notebook. For zoology itself. After that, you read it again, and if you have any doubt, you can call me frankly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.